don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Something like that. Excuse me. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I, I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at uh, financing? The financing, it seems like a shitty deal. Ah, because of the color of my skin, you think I am a scammer. No, no, no. Skin color's got nothing to do with it. Rockford Hills, the yellow 4x4. Four four. My credit's okay, and this is all, like, high-risk financing. Yes, you are a risk. I will not give my stock away just because you are a white man. No, I, I want a fair deal because I'm a responsible borrower in long-term employment. Can you let me think about it? What to think about? You're either a man or you're a vagina. It just doesn't feel right. You do not feel right. Perhaps a rich idiot like you can waste the day, but I have children to feed. Decide. Give me a minute. You're wasting my time. Can you speak to another customer and come back to me? Buy the car or get off the floor. All this time I could be mentoring the disadvantaged. Look, I'm thinking. Did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief.
It's just because you have a massive gaper, bitch. Fucking homo, you're dead. Dead! He said I had a massive... Jimmy called me a bitch! You don't belong here. Who are you? Mr. DeSanta! Mr. DeSanta! to knife attack me? No one creeps on the J-Dog, my niggas. I'm talking in your ear, soldier. Open something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you suck Batman's dick. I'll cut your dick off if you call the administrator. Hey, you know what? I am the administrator. Ooh, ouch. Ray Marino. Get off my face, you lucky homo. Dead, you fucking idiot! I don't care if you're 12, I'll still rape you! Ooh, slaughter time! You're a waste of semen, bitch! We'll make my mistake. You're taking it in the can from El Qaeda now! Ah, uh, for fuck's sake! Shit! Fuck! Ah, oh, shit! Piss! Aw, oh, man! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Holy fuck shit, bro! Dad! Dad, there's a dude! Dad, help! Dad! Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. I think he has a medical problem. Like, more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. <laughs> Mental ones. Seriously, penises are not meant to be that small. I'd fucking know, right? I've seen enough of them. <laughs> it's probably because he's so fat. I still love him, though. Sort of. Well, the other day, I walked in on him, and he was jerking off over pictures of my friends. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> the hot ones, Lauren and Lisa. No, I didn't mean it like that. You're beautiful. And interesting is just that, you know, guys don't, they just don't get you. Hello? Hello? Fuck. Whatever. Bitch. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Dad! Penises are not meant to be that small. Fucking homo! Dead, you fucking idiot! I don't care if you're 12, I'll still rape you! Holy fucking shit, bro! Dad!
You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Ooh, okay, Amanda. All right, now just follow through. God, you've got great hips. You know that? Follow through. Yeah, I could get used to this. <laughs> oh. Excellent, yes. Now slide your hips slow and sit into it right here. No, right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could totally get used to this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Huh? Well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Huh? Well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely. I consider my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who drink. gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Don't look like the way to no credit alley to me. Shit, man, with traffic and all this way is fast. Don't move, kid. That's a nine millimeter semi automatic pushed against your skull. Don't look around. Take me where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was... I said drive. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A... What, you need some motivation? Drive. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repos. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer. And I'll explain how the world really works. This don't look like the way to no credit alley to me. Shit, man, with traffic and all this way is fast. Don't move, kid. 
Jess up here. Okay. Stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dog, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yaterian. We'll work this out. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Hey, I still got this gun to your head. Ram it already. Come on, kid. Do it. Let's go. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! Ah, suddenly you aren't so tough. I thought we were having a conversation. Where are you going, coward? Are you not man enough to finish this? Look at him, running away from the fight. Out loud. Are you brain dead? You think ah. you could take me for a ride? I'll get my lawyer. Bottom feeder. Uh. Be an honest criminal. What is wrong with you? Crazy man. I dead. spit on punks like you. You've gone mad. Front step, ah! You'll pay for that window. You're fucking mental. Ah. Mm. <clears throat> you recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist. I'm telling you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work for it's worth five grand a month. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he agreed to financing. I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here. Uh. Michael? Dave? To what do I owe this pleasure? Just want to talk. You behaving yourself? Of course. And how are the kids? Great. Amanda, too. Wonderful. She sends her love. So how's the job? Good, thanks, yeah. New supervisor, Steve Haynes. He's on that TV show. Really? Good guy? He's okay. 
Well, it was nice to catch up. Same to you. Say again? How the fuck we get fired? Man, it was partly all that bullshit you pulled, and partly the repos old man making me crash the car into the dealership. Ha! <laughs> you the crazy ass motherfucker in this partnership. You better spin them while you got them. Yeah, if you say so. Hey, man. Weird seeing you here. Oh, hey. Uh, look, I'm sorry you got in trouble with your boss. Uh, you know, I'm sorry I broke into your house. Yeah, you're sorry you got caught. Nah, actually, I ain't. You know, one door closes and that shit. All right, I'll tell you what, let's have a beer sometime. Uh, yeah, for sure, dog. I'll look you up. Is this a joke, kid? Will you fuck off? Seriously, stop the stalking. Hey, I'm serious. Get lost. All right, then. Come on. Weasel News. Car carnage in Pillbox Hill. An upsurge in armed ATM robberies has locals concerned. Devin Weston by stake in Richards Majestic. Is I find street maps sharing pics of you on the toilet. A car dealership in Pillbox Hill was destroyed when a joyrider smashed into the showroom. Premium Deluxe Motorsport has come under investigation for loan scams and high interest rate financing. But the owner, Simeon Yatarian, assured police that this incident was purely an accident and not a disgruntled customer. One man witnessed the carnage. It was crazy as hell. That dude must have been tweaking. <laughs> I know I am. You got a washing machine I can take apart?